Uh, we got somebody on the line. Yo, yo. What up? Hey, guys. This is Cody. What's going on? Cody, what's good, what's my on? dude? So my argument for why he should be, he should be available in a nice spot. Um, so I feel really bad at doing this, but yeah, like last week or so, I've been going on Chicago Bulls Twitter, just kind of following up what, what's going on. The oh, that's fan okay. base in Chicago really up. wants Michael Porter. And Michael Porter has kind of let it be known a little bit that he's a Chicago fan and he's even gone to, like, Chicago games. So, like, the fan base in Chicago really loves Michael Porter, right? Yeah, I've been hearing but, that, too. Guys, that two things that happened, if you, guys, if you guys remember, at the Combine, do you guys remember a small forward that did not work out and people thought that he had an offer? Chandler Hutchinson. Chandler Hutchinson from Boy State, people were, like, maybe late 20s, maybe second-round pick. All of a sudden, he dropped out, right? And he's like, he's like, well, I don't need to work out anymore. If someone needed to work out in the combine, it was definitely Chandler. Just one, he's from a small school. People had some questions about him. He needed to kind of, you know, raise his stock a little bit. And he just right. shut it down, right? Mm -hmm. And then the rumor mill was that Chicago made him, like, let him know that for sure they were going to draft him. He was like, cool, I'm, I'm straight, right? And so I think the, the rumor mill is that Chicago's going to pick Wendell at 7 and then Chandler at 21 or 22, whatever that, that early, you know, they had, they, have, they have like two picks right. um, in the first round. So that's, that's mm. the rumor mill. So, which means, so that leads it to Cavs, right? Yeah. I think the Cavs, if, if LeBron leaves, which I think is, is like 90% chance right now, mm -hmm. I think Cavs pick second, right? And then I think Michael Porter falls to us. This all makes sense if Dallas or Memphis don't mess it up. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> goes away, you know. Uh, you know, because the only thing is we don't know, right? This is all yeah. just yeah. like right. But, uh, but right now, if everything stays as it is, there's a real possibility that because I think two two people who really helped themselves at, at the combine was Wendell Carter, like he came in. Super prepared. Yeah, he did. Like, he came in ripped. People were, were just talking about him like, whoa, this dude is really serious. Mobamba, just because he was a freak of nature. Mm -hmm. I think, I think yeah. he helped his stock. I think Josh Jackson, I don't think people are like, really excited about Josh Jackson. So he's, to me, he's the X factor right now. Like, is he still going to be like a third or fourth pick? I mean, what is he? Um, but yeah. I think if everything stays right now, I can see a possible, I can see why Michael Porter falls into us at night. Yo, Cody, appreciate the support, man. Appreciate the call, bro. All right, man. All right. Cool. Thanks, man. Interesting. I like that insight, though. Yeah, I mean, I just... I, I, I like just that think... we got a mole in the Chicago chat room. Yeah, my man, Cody, <laughs> my man Cody's infiltrating the Chicago Bulls Twitter, man. That's crazy. Yo, on a side note, man, they they uh 